At Moulton Museum, we honor the pioneer spirit. We believe it coursed through the veins of Lewis and Nellie Gale Moulton. Through their pioneer spirit, they taught us to dream big, persevere through challenges, work hard, care about people and building community, cherish the environment. Born in Irving, Kansas in December 1878, Nellie Gale was not quite six months old when one of a pair of historic tornadoes that were an inspiration of the story of Wizard of Oz swept Nellie into the air across their home and blew the family's house apart. As a testament to her perseverance, Nellie landed unharmed and would later refer to the moment early in her life as her first flight. Although this was just the beginning of her life's trials, her spirit of perseverance, no matter the situation, serves as a great example for all future generations. During her teaching career near current-day Seattle, Nellie taught school in a one-room schoolhouse, teaching many different ages all at once. Soon she became part of the school's administration, and not soon after, became principal. On her own 90th birthday, Nellie gave the gift of education by paying for the full tuition of 21 students. As she explained to the Los Angeles Times, she said, I've traveled the globe and points in between multiple times. I've lived a blessed life, but there has always been something missing. You see, I never could go to college. We couldn't afford it. After the life I've lived, you wouldn't think it would matter, but it does. She went on to say that while it was a little late for her to start college, she wanted to make sure that others could have the opportunity she never had. Not one to stay idle, Nellie used her vacation time to work too. She would visit her sisters and their father in Southern California to work at his general store, the El Toro store, now in the city known as Lake Forest. On one of those visits while working in the store, she met local rancher, Louis F. Moulton. After a long courtship, the two married in 1908. Nellie worked with famous architect William Pereira to design the Laguna Moulton Playhouse, which still stands today in downtown Laguna Beach. Here, Nellie Gale Moulton is visiting her daughter Louise's ranch in Lompoc, California, near Santa Barbara. Smaller than the historic Moulton Ranch, the sprawling and mostly untouched 14,000-acre ranch has been preserved through a conservation easement put in place by Louise and the Moulton family with the help of California Rangeland Trust. The land will never be developed commercially. Nellie Gale Moulton was a curious, adventurous, and educated mother, teacher, businesswoman, artist, philanthropist. She once said, as a little girl, I crossed the Midwestern Plains in a covered wagon. Last year, watching a thing called television, I witnessed man's first step on the surface of the moon. I've seen so many firsts. The first telephone, the first gaslight, the first use of electricity, the first typewriter, the first bicycle, the first car, the first plane, one of the first women to work in an office, and world traveler that got the most out of her 94 years. From surviving tornadoes and the perils of crossing the country in a covered wagon, to running a powerful business in a male-dominated industry, and traveling to the farthest corners of the world, Nellie demonstrated the pioneer spirit throughout her life. Living passionately until 1972, Nellie Gale left behind a legacy of art, education, and community. She helped build and support institutions such as Laguna Playhouse, Laguna Art Museum, Laguna College of Art and Design, Chapman University, and the communities of Nellie Gale Ranch and Monarch Bay. From all of us at the Moulton Museum, thank you for visiting, and you can help keep the pioneer spirit alive by embodying these principles in your own way every day.